Hi, I'm Shanaz and I'm in search of exotic customs and quirky traditions on this episode of Culture Shock. Thailand. It is called the land of smiles for a reason. Thais take one thing very seriously, and that is having fun. They even have a name for it, Sanuk, which means even when you're hard at work, you gotta have fun with it. I am now heading to a small town called Lokpuri, where I've been invited to a very special party. So this is Lokpuri. It looks like any ordinary sleepy Thai town, but you know what? This town has one distinctive difference. It's a town besieged by monkeys. The monkeys that run this town are actually long-tailed macaques, and they have been living on these ancient Khmer ruins for over a thousand years. In fact, the monkeys have become such a part of the town's life that hotelier Mr. Yong Yu chose a monkey as the mascot of his freaky theme hotel. I mean, check this place out! As business grew over the years, Mr. Yong Yu decided to show his gratitude by sponsoring a monkey feast. A banquet for wild monkeys, you say? Well, I didn't travel hundreds of miles by train for nothing. Next morning, the preparations start at 6 a.m. Truckloads of treats, snacks, and other monkey goodies are offloaded on the ancient temple grounds. Oh God, feels like it's 150 degrees. And the air's so humid, you feel like you can drink it. This, by the way, is Thai winter. Thank God for Hello Kitty. So as the crowd begins to gather, the anticipation is palpable. The food is brought out on tables and all the monkeys are eagerly eyeing the feast with desire. But first, why not bring out a marching band? A local circus act? A bizarre parade of gigantic frozen treats? A few words from our sponsors? And let the party begin! No table manners. These monkeys are not domesticated. Yet. They are not tame. They are very, very dangerous for people. <laughs> oh my God. They are not tame. As I watch this ensuing blurt, I can't help but wonder how all this chocolate, candy, and orange soda will react in a tiny little monkey's body. Okay, why all the sugar? Why all this junk food for the monkeys? These are all healthy food for the, for the monkey. Please don't compare the monkeys to the human. No, but I see them <laughs> guzzling down cola. They're buzzing on sugar. So they're obviously more aggressive now. No, they are not human. <laughs> they are monkeys. <laughs> yeah, on monkey crack. <laughs> I got attacked by a monkey. He wanted my fan, I guess. Maybe. I don't know what he wanted. <laughs> You know, I'm monkey-friendly, rat-friendly, it's all good. <laughs> As the ceremony comes to a close and all our friends have gorged themselves into a catatonic state of monkey bliss, fat, happy and exhausted from a long day of binge eating, I think to myself, this must be what monkey heaven looks like. And when the sugar high wears off and the hangover sets in, the monkeys reluctantly go back to their normal lives and jobs of tormenting the townspeople and tourists until next year when they will be kings once again. Much better. Yeah, much better. Just the rats will go over the plastic and not touch my feet. They've been nibbling at my toes all day. Couldn't the goddess have chosen puppies or kittens or something cuter, squirrels? Why rats? I think I would want to be in my next life a rat in this temple, <laughs> but not a human being. <laughs>
So where do you sleep? Do you sleep in the temple sometimes? Yes. Yeah, and they crawl all over you when you sleep as well? Yes, sometimes they go inside my trousers.